Hi everyone. Um, so this is an educational video. This video is about how to combine PT scorecards. So this video is intended for all uh, people who are planning to do nursing or planning to take nursing registration. Um, we would recommend you to, to see this video because it's very important. And it's, it's a beautiful thing, like you can combine two PT scorecards. So in this video, we are not covering why uh, people should take PT or ILTS or OET for nursing registration. Uh, that will be covered in a separate video, but this video is just for like, I mean, how to combine PT scorecards and how you can get uh, that your nursing registration done uh, pretty quickly. Okay. So just as an example, so before we start, just um, just to brush up the things like for APRA registration or for nursing board registration in Australia, uh, the criteria for English competency is PT65, right? So you have to get PT65 overall and also the individual modules have to get, have to be 65 or above, right? Uh, but there is also a catch for that. You can combine two PT scorecards. So that's what I'm going to explain here. So for example, this is scorecard one. If you look at, you can see that um, overall score, it's 68, which is 65 or above. So that satisfies. Listening 70, which is 65 or above, that satisfies. Reading, it is 63, which is less than 65. So this will get rejected, All right? So there is no chance for this scorecard to go and proceed with the registration. This will get rejected. Why? Because in individuals module, one module, which is the reading is 65, which is less than 65, 63 is less than 65. So this will get rejected. Okay, this is the first time PT test taker and this is a scorecard. So that person writes PT again, second time, right? Um, three months after. So this is the scorecard too. So if you look at the overall score down, you can say it's 65, that satisfies. Listening 62, which is less than 60, uh, 65, it will not satisfy. So this will also get rejected, right? So even in first attempt, it gets rejected. Second attempt also it gets rejected, right? So there is a, a natural thing that we will get disappointed here because I mean, in both attempts, um, the, the criteria has not been met but there is a catch here. This has been done by our students, English form students for past two to three years, which has actually been successful for the nursing registration. And that's been, that's been actually been um, considered as an English competency uh, for nursing registration. You can combine two scorecards. Let's see how we can look at that. So if you combine, so left side you're seeing the first time scorecard, so, uh, right side, you're seeing the second attempt scorecard, all right? So as a thumb rule, if you want to combine scorecards, um, I'm going to show one more slide. There are a few checklists. So this is checklist. Only four things you need to consider if you want to combine scorecards. One is overall score. Second is duration. Third is individual module scores. Fourth is minimum module scores, right? So uh, end of the day, your third column, which is individual module scores, that is you're going to, that is called com combination. That is what you are called like combining first attempt scorecard or second attempt scorecard. But as a thumb rule, remember, this is a very important thing. If you want to combine scorecards, uh, first two columns and the last column should be satisfied, which is your overall score should be satisfied, a duration should, should, should be satisfied, minimum module score should be satisfied, right? In order to apply, individual module scores. Now let's look at each one of them, overall score. So it's telling that 65 or above in each attempt. So if you got, if you get like say 65 in first attempt or above, if you get 65 or above in second attempt, yes, you are good to go. Your overall score criteria satisfies, but if in any of your attempt, first attempt or second attempt, if you get less than 65, you can't go and combine your scorecards, clear? Second thing, duration. If you take your second test within six months, 
you can combine scorecards. But if you are going to take after six months, you can't combine scorecards. Now let's take the fourth column, which is minimum module score. This is a very important thing. You can't combine your scorecards. If in any of your attempts, like first or second attempt, you get less than 55 in any of the module. I'm repeating, in any attempt, like let's say that in any first attempt, you get reading 57, you can't combine scorecard even if you write the second. Or in the second attempt, in the first attempt, you, you have everything, uh, 58, you have every module, you have 58 or above. But unfortunately, in the second attempt, you got listening like 57 or 56. You can't combine your PT scorecards. Clear? So I'm, I'm again, repeating once more, like to combine scorecards, three important things you need to consider. Your overall score in any of your attempts should be 65 or above. Your duration should be within six months. Your minimum module score should be 58 or above. Okay. Now, if all these stress get satisfied, now you can apply or you can combine the scorecards, which is in the third column, individual module scores, how you can combine. So here I represent R as reading, L as listening, W as writing, S as speaking, and one as first attempt and two as second attempt. So if you are telling that in R1 or R2, which means that any, any of your first attempt, like first or attempt attempt, second attempt, you get your reading score 65 or above, one plus one, like I mean, you satisfy. You satisfy in the sense that, I mean, your reading score gets satisfied. In listening, in first or second attempt, in any of your attempt, you get 65 or above, your listening also gets satisfied. In similarly for writing, like any of your attempt, you get 65 or above, it gets satisfied. So writing gets satisfied. Similarly in speaking, in any of your attempt, you get 65 or above, your speaking all satisfied. If you are satisfying in all these four modules in this way, in this way, then you are eligible for registration with regard to the PT competency. You can apply for the nursing registration and you will get certified, you will get registered, right? So this is simple. So going back to our combined scorecards, how you can apply this rule to these two scorecards. So in first attempt, you will get rejected because your reading is 63. In second attempt, also you will get rejected if you, if you apply separately because your listening and writing is less than 65. Now, how you combine? So I'm telling that apply the thumb rule first, which is like overall score, duration, and individual module score, minimum individual module scores. So overall scores in both 65, second attempt 65, which is above, uh, which is equal to 65, this is fine. So, um, first attempt 68 above 65. So overall score criteria satisfied. Second thing, duration. The duration has, uh, we have not put the duration here, but this test was taken three months, which is less than six months. So this also gets satisfied. Third thing, minimum module score. You have, you will not be seeing, like, I mean, if you check like this um, first attempt or second attempt, you will not see listening, reading, speaking, writing in first or second attempt, none of them or like um, neither of them actually is less than 58. Everything is like um, more than 60s, right? So that condition also gets satisfied, right? So which means that you can combine these two scorecards, right? Now we are going to combine the scorecards. So listening, first attempt 70. So it is okay. So UT 65 or above, reading, Second attempt 68, so it is fine. That is that is also like I mean um, accepted. Speaking, first uh, both attempts 65, so it is good, satisfied. Writing first attempt 74, which is 65 above, so it is to get satisfied. So you can combine these two scorecard one and scorecard two, and you can apply for nursing registration, and you will get this step. So hope you get an idea how we can combine PT scorecards. Um, this has been um, done by our students, uh, English from students. And like, I mean, we have been educating them how you can come, how we can combine two scorecards. You can do this. If you have any doubts, you can email us at mockpt at englishfirm.com or you can even give us a call or you can even comment on uh, the, the, the below uh, YouTube section. Uh, we will uh, get back to you on this thing. Hope this is an informative video. You get information about this video. How, uh, you can like, share, subscribe. Uh, for this video. Thank you.